Hey, good morning, you guys. It's a bit cold out here, and I'm ready to have some coffee. And so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys some of the gear that I bring to make coffee. And a lot of this is dependent on if I'm by myself, maybe I've got a camp full of friends, and I want to make you know a lot of coffee for multiple people. We're gonna make some coffee. I'll show you some of this gear and we'll get into it. This is essentially what I use just to boil or heat the water um, that I can use for other aspects. I can use this for the French press um, or I can just heat this water up and I've got this little thing here that'll sit right on top of my cup. It's got a, a paper filter that you put in here and you put your grounds in and just pour over and it's pretty simple. I think out of all of um, the stuff that I brought, I think this is kind of the quickest way to make coffee. This is a French press. This is titanium. This would be something that I take with me, you know, for backpacking, you know, out in the backcountry. It's very lightweight. And so I'm going to show you guys how I make coffee with the French press because you don't see people using French press too often out in the field, but I really think that it's the best cup of coffee that you can you can make. I'm gonna fire up this stove. I really do like this uh, Coleman stove here. If you guys have the opportunity, you know, once in a while you can find these at secondhand stores, garage sales. Um, I got really lucky with this. It's in really good shape. And as long as you keep the jets cleaned out, you know, this thing will run forever. And it's very efficient with the um, kerosene. You know, I can have a whole gallon of that kerosene and as much as I come out, that gallon will last me just about a year, if not more. Um, so it burns really efficiently, very cost effective. Um, I like using it because I got tired of having to go out and buy those little propane canisters. It started to get fairly expensive and on top of that they're kind of a pain in the ass to carry with you and pack and so for me you know carrying that gallon of kerosene was a, a whole lot easier how this works is it's got a little uh well this is this entire piece right here is a reservoir where the kerosene goes and then right here it's got a little plunger that you turn counterclockwise and you're going to pump this and you'll start to feel some pressure build up in it and you pump it about maybe 20 times and then what you do is turn that clockwise and it's ready to go as you guys can see this is a pretty neat little titanium pot here it's got fold out handles and you can hang this up if you wanted to you know hang it over a fire and this will hold 16 ounces or 500 milliliters. And so this is just kind of like a single use um, as far as a cup of coffee. Good amount. You can actually remove the press part. This unthreads. And this will pull off so you can just use it as a lid if you wanted to boil water. So we're going to fill this up to the 16 ounce line we'll put this on there you don't have to have this water boiling now it's going to vary you know depending on how strong you want your coffee i usually like to put about three to four scoops in here um, you definitely don't you know one scoop isn't enough Four scoops is usually enough. For me, it's usually strong enough. I like strong coffee. Mix it around, but you really just want it, you know, fairly, uh, fairly hot. All right, guys, this is probably about right. We're gonna pull this off. Give it a little stir. And then what you're gonna do is just put the, uh, top on and you're going to slowly press down and you're going to feel a little bit of resistance and that's from the grounds 
getting stuck in the screen filter. And then simply just pour it. Add cream, add sugar, drink it black. So I really think out of all the methods that I have, I think the most versatile is the French press. At least for me, this is very lightweight. I can stick it into my backpack. Comes with a nice bag here. Um, it is titanium. I think it's 7.7 .7 ounces, so it's very lightweight and obviously very durable. And the thing about this is it has the filter built into it. I can remove this and I can use this as a pot if I wanted to boil water, if I wanted to make some ramen, some soup, anything like that. I think next time I'll definitely bring a backpacking stove. And these are ethanol uh, little cans here. They got like an ethanol gel in here. And they burn a long time. I've used them before on backpacking trips. I think next time I think I'm gonna bring a butane stove with me definitely would heat this up a lot quicker and the other problem with these are you got to really keep the wind off of them because they have a tendency to want to blow out and so that was kind of the problem we've had here but this is definitely a nice kit fits well comes with a little bag and I'm able to just keep this in my pack now one of the other options is using a percolator a percolator is basically just a pot. Um, this is probably enough coffee for two people. Basically it has this in here and what's going to happen is the water is going to boil and it's going to be sent up to the top of this and it overflows and this is where your coffee ground is going to go. And we're going to fill this up. We'll put this on and this acts as the filter and it's going to recirculate itself as it's boiling. And it makes a really good cup of coffee. Um, not as good as the French press. I really think the French press is definitely the best and smoothest cup of coffee. Um, this is more like a cowboy style coffee. While we're waiting for this to percolate, we'll talk about if you guys have a lot of people that you want to make coffee for, you would probably pick something like this up and you can make some cowboy coffee or you can use the individual filter style. Um, either way works. If you wanted to make cowboy coffee, you could fill this up. I believe this is right around two quarts and you're gonna use right around six ounces of coffee ground and you're gonna heat up the water and you want it to be to the point where it's just about to boil. You don't want it boiling, otherwise it's going to burn the grounds and it's just going to turn this pot into a mess inside it since you are just dumping the grounds directly into the water. And so what you're going to do is get that really hot, dump about six ounces of grounds in there and you're going to mix it around and kind of let it sit there for a while and then what you're going to do is you're going to take some cold water and you're going to pour it directly over the top of that. And what that's going to do is that's going to force all those grounds to the bottom. So when you pour your coffee, you're not going to have a bunch of grounds floating around in it. And it makes really smooth coffee. Um, like I said, this would be for making coffee for a lot of people. Or you can just use the conventional uh, filter style. These are really cheap. I'm gonna leave a link to all this stuff in the description for you guys. So I think the most expensive item is the press here which I think is around 35-40 bucks and I think out of all these methods I think the French press is definitely the best cup of coffee. So you guys can see this is starting to percolate and you want to let this go for probably around three to five minutes. Um, just let it go, you know, it's going to filter itself back through and depending on how much coffee you put in 
into that filter, you know, it's going to be stronger. I found with this, considering it is boiling, uh, generally you want to use a little bit more ground than you normally would for any of these other methods. So keep that in mind. This is a really simple method. You can kind of walk away from it for a few minutes while you do things in camp. But you don't want to let this boil over, you know, for 10, 15 minutes. Otherwise, it's going to taste really kind of burnt. And so just keep that in mind. Anywhere from three to five minutes and it's ready to go. After you turn the stove off, you just want to let it sit for a while. It is going to percolate for a little bit longer till it cools down and then it's ready to pour. Cheers, you guys. Definitely good. I think the French press is hands down the best out of all these methods. Um, definitely give it a try. I'm going to leave links to all this stuff that we've used in the description of this video. I hope you were able to learn a little about making coffee. This is kind of a video I've wanted to do for a while. And I really do enjoy coffee. I like coming out into the wilderness like this. And I'll usually have some in the morning that I keep in an uh, insulated mug like this. And I'll throw it in my pack. You know, it lasts me you know, until about 10, 11 o'clock. And then in the evening, I usually like having some as well. I like sitting out, watching the stars. And for me, it's just kind of a, a relaxing part of my day. And so if you guys have certain ways that you guys like making coffee, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear. Like I said, I'm going to leave all the links to this stuff. And so hopefully that'll help some of you guys out in case you were wondering, you know, how uh, to make coffee, certain different methods. But I really appreciate you watching and I look forward to bringing you guys some more videos really soon. We'll talk to you then.